Today, we will be going over how technology can help drive your um, business efficiency and really how saving time helped one of our users, among many others, really take their business to the next level and most importantly, save time doing it. So today we'll be going over common roadblocks with growth. You know, things that we as a team here at Good Shuffle are hearing firsthand that business owners just like you are coming across and dealing with when it comes to your own journeys in growth. What automations we have through Good Shuffle Pro. So how we can really help streamline that growth process while saving you time. And that's going to start at the very beginning with your customer intake process and will carry you all the way through the end. As I mentioned earlier, you can ping questions um, throughout, but if uh, there are any at the end, we will also have a few minutes for that. And then we will go ahead and wrap with any next steps, things like um, you know, uh, sharing our contact information and more. So with that, we'll get to it. So this is Richard and Melissa Carrier. They are the longtime business owners over at Total Events up in New York. They started as a mighty team of two almost 30 years ago, but are now at an operation of over 30 employees. Well, in 2018, they were ready to start hitting that new phase of growth, but we're starting to hit roadblocks with their old software. It was rigid, it was old, and it was really starting to nickel and dime them, them for every little feature. Hey, you, if you have the, over this much inventory, sending this many contracts, whatever the case may be, they were finding that the value for money was not only less and less, but it was actually actively prohibiting them from getting where they wanted to go. They then made the switch to Good Shuffle Pro and have since then taken their business to the next level. So they've seen a 90% reduction in their sales and intake process. That all starts with the website wish list, as well as a 90% reduction in the time it takes to make updates to their website, once again, thanks to that website wish list. All of this leads to more time back to grow their business and those automations on the back end are allowing them to get paid 75% faster, meaning less time on the phone doing um, accounts payable calls, more time on the phone with clients winning new business and closing deals. So, when we think about those barriers, the first is often time. Time, it's so, it's, you know, it's one of the things that um, people want the most back or more of that I talk to on demos each and every day. Oh, I wish I had more time to do this. Oh, I spend so much time doing quotes. Think about in your own business, what some of your biggest time sinks are especially when it comes to the sales process. Is it taking, is it, you know, the person submits a demo form and getting them to the next step of even seeing your inventory is a time sink? Is it the time between, hey, we had a consultation call or maybe they came in and saw our showroom. They've got an idea of what they like, but I've been doing showings all day and now it's four o'clock and I'm going to sit down in front of my computer and I have four or five proposals to build in addition to all of the emails that came across and anything else related to the business, deliveries, pickups, somebody being sick. All of the sudden, that exciting day of building quotes is turning into a late night with a long week ahead. What is what are those holdups 
costing you? Is building those quotes in that bulky system costing you clients where by the time you get to that fifth client three or four days later, they've said they've already got something signed with somebody else? Is it costing you other time to do other activities, reorganizing the warehouse, throwing out that inventory that isn't moving so that you can get some stock in that will? Or being able to have time to hire on those new sales rock stars who are going to help carry you to the next level. So think about not only what your biggest time sinks are, but also what those time sinks are costing you day over day, month over month, year over year, and what, how much closer to your final goal you would be if you had a solution in place that helped with those time costs. Next, we're going to talk about financial costs. So I don't know about y'all. I am, you know, an avid app user, as most folks my age are. But we all have different apps that we like. For some, it's social media. For others, it's a music listening app. I know as somebody who DJs in my part uh, part time that I have a couple of programs that I pay for streaming and downloading music. Think about what apps you use in your life and which ones you pay for, most importantly, and why. Do you find that those free tiers or those freemium tiers are lacking, whether it's user experience, whether it is a reduction in the amount of something you want to do, so skips in an hour for Spotify, or the number of, um, you know, songs that you can like, things like that. So understand that even free solutions are not always free. An example that I come across almost every single day is people who are using Microsoft Excel or the Microsoft Office suite. And that will be in combination with, say, Canva or, um, QuickBooks Online with their invoice management and the amount of time that it takes them to use those free tools to back and, you know, bounce back and forth to build their quote, they have since lost two, three, four customers because something that could take them five or 10 minutes, which will actually, we'll go over here shortly, is instead taking them 35 to 40 minutes just to build and that's in addition to five to 10 minutes of verification time, sitting down, looking at trees, charting the stars. Oh, and by the way, we still need to see who's available. So just like our um, professors and our teachers back in high school would say, there's no such thing as a free lunch. There's always an opportunity cost, even when it comes to those free solutions. And finally, a lack of automation. Everybody is busy. We talk about, um, you know, I'm, a, I'm a, a big fan of looking at things like the markets and they talk about how we're more productive than ever, but we're also busier than ever. We also have less time than ever. So how is we, how can we as business professionals and business owners not only save ourselves time, so that we can earn more customers and make a larger impact in our community and on those people who are, have chosen to do business with us. But how can we also make it easy for those clients? How can we make it to where it's one less step for them to provide that little bit of information? One less step for them to get you paid that much quicker. One less step for them to sign the contract so that you have one less thing you need to worry about and can now focus on bringing that vision to life. Now, when it comes to the website or when it comes to those automations, the website wish list is the first place that Good Shuffle Pro is really going to take you to the next level. And it's going to do that in a couple of ways. So the way that the website wish list works is it's going to take a small bit of code, all of which 
we provide. And that code is going to be inserted into the header of your website. Now, what this allows you to do is when you enter any inventory into Good Shuffle Pro proper, it is going to then automatically carry over to your website. So when we talked about how Richard and Melissa are able to save 90% on the amount of time that it takes for them to manage their website, it's because when they get in a new stock of chairs, when they create a new furniture set, or they do a new dining room package, they enter it into Good Shuffle, it automatically carries over onto their website wish list. So there's no need for double work. There's a very funny quote and very telling quote um, by the business owners talking about how smooth and easy it is to manage their site despite not being tech people. Now, as we actually go ahead and pivot over to that customer experience, it's all about creating the experience for your client that is going to most resonate with them. The reason that wish list lives as a line of code is because we want you to be able to create the vision with that you want. So if you are working with a wide variety of customers, you can meet them where they are most at. So if I am working with a lot of event planners, corporate clients, whatever the case may be, great, we can have a very robust catalog. Pick it as you need it. You've even got a nice view down the side or as Totally Vince does, they do it in squares. Conversely, for those folks that want to really showcase different themes and different styles and different items, great. We can do just that all the while. and. We it's going, all of these pages are helping your website's visibility. So if somebody is looking for disco theme party rentals in my area, boop, guess whose website's showing up. So it's all about creating the customer experience that is not only unique, but resonates with your client, meets them where they want to go, and will allow them to quickly find exactly what they are looking for and more. Now, as they're going through and making their selections, not only do you have the ability to showcase things like what is inside of that um, item or package, you can also hide it away, you have the ability to showcase add-ons and alternates. So if there is a really nice um, table set you were looking at, or if somebody is getting a photo booth, hey, you know what's really going to enhance your spring pa party, your uh, tea party? Ah, oh, some beautiful hydrangeas and centerpieces. You know what's going to make that photo booth so much fun? some really, really silly um, uh, props that are going to really help us showcase our fun personalities of our team and our crew. Now, as they're going through and making their selections, much like with Amazon, it is going to add it to their wish list and cart. And then they're gonna go ahead and give you those final bits of information to help the process move along. We believe in keeping it smooth and easy. Name, email address, phone number. If they have the venue, great. And once they hit send, both parties are gonna get an email. So our research has shown that a lot of folks do shopping overnight, right? After work, sitting on the couch, doing Netflix. Well, no matter what time of day, whether it is in the you know prime business hours or in the dead of the night, you're going to get an email 
your customer will get an email saying somebody on the team is going to reach out. And now you are one click away from being able to review that exact order in its entirety. Oh, and by the way, we can pick and choose what they see. So Mrs. Pickles didn't see the bounce house blower and the extension cords. She just saw the really fun bounce houses. What a lot of folks will traditionally do is during the day, when those requests come in, boom, they click that link, they're ready to rock and roll. For anything that come in overnight, you're able to go from your dashboard, which is what you will see each and every morning when you log in. It is going to let you know of what we have on the horizon. Is there anybody we need to follow up with? Is there something that I or a fellow teammate left on our desk to do today that I need to get done before moving forward and a whole lot more. Well, I walk in first thing in the morning. I pull up that projects page after reviewing my dashboard. I go to this new tab. I pull up the wish list and now we can see all of those juicy requests for quotes that have come in overnight. So now before I am on my second cup of coffee, I have reviewed all those quotes and most likely gotten those sent out unless if there is some detail that we need to iron out with our client. When you open these orders up, it is going to have everything filled out. So many of the folks that we talk to and many of the other programs they come from, they may have a wish list feature but they will then have to take that wish list or that contact form and then refill everything that the customer has requested. That is not the case with Good Shuffle Pro. So you are able to quickly see what the customer wants and more. Now, within that, there may be some odds and ends that we want to have final check off before we send off. So the first thing is gonna be, do we have any conflicts? So within Good Shuffle Pro, we have a very robust conflict detection system that is going to let us know not only of how much of an item we are short, but also are there any other events that are vying for this item and what is the status? If it's just a case where somebody has requested more inventory than we have, not a worry. We are able to pivot right on over to that fulfillment tab and quickly see who we rent it from and any other additional pertinent details that are going to help us keep things moving along. So folding tables, they're big, they're heavy, Maybe we rent our overflow from total events. And so we're able to create a permanent note that lets us know that. When we mark that as a sub rental, it's going to create a little squiggly. This will be communicated for every member of the team. So if I am the head of fulfillment or I'm a 1099 contractor or anything in between, I know that these are being rented from total events. I can even go in and add a last minute note, like uh, they are dropping off at venue so that that way they know that this is a pertinent current note. What happens if we don't have a vendor in our area or we have stock that is similar that may work? Awesome. So same thing here. We have a shortage, but we are able to quickly see what other items that may be similar. So very similar to the accessories on the website, you can have the same accessories and alternates on your view. That will carry for both sides. So now if somebody has requested an item we don't have, we can quickly switch it out. The best part is if we want the final sign off before doing so, our built-in CRM will allow us 
to do just that. And the response will come back to both Good Shuffle Pro and to your email as well. So there's no need to set up a fresh email, anything else. When Michael gives us the thumbs up that those look good, we will be able to quickly make the switch. Not only that, any photographs, reference documents, dream boards for our DJs, um, set lists, things like that, that are emailed back and forth during the process are saved here. In addition to having the ability to add any files that you want. When we talk about automation and streamlining, look how much faster we were able to get all of this information to the back of the house. The order request came in from Michael. We were able to identify two shortages, make the switches. Oh, by the way, our pull sheet is generated at the same exact time so that that way we're not needing to go build a pull sheet and we can brain dump any of those notes that are most important for the team all the while if there is anything that we need to add or switch we are well within our right so if michael emails us that it's going to be in a parking lot instead of in a um, grass field great we can switch those stakes with cement blocks oh and by the way you may have stakes or an item that is uncharged that you switch for an item that is charged you are well within your ability to do that, it will all scale and update. So as we get ready to send this quote off, we are able to also set up automated payment reminders. So when we talk about busy season, so many folks I talk to will be busy with events, and then they'll be very slow with events, but slammed building quotes. So if you are, you know, in the middle of busy season, if you know, have a lot going on, you can set those reminders. You have full control over what those messages say the same way you do with all of our message templates. These are fully creatable and customizable. And that will push folks along. Now, the great thing is about half of the quotes sent within Good Shuffle Pro are going to get a signature within five minutes with another 25% signed within three business days. So if you have a quote that you send on Monday at noon, by Thursday at the same exact time, three out of every four people who end up becoming customers of yours will have a signature to you. Think about how much time that's going to save. Think about how much stress that's going to relieve. And for that 25% who are stragglers, we have the all-seeing eye of Sauron to let us know, hey, are they opening our emails? Or are they ghosting us? Maybe we give phone calls to the people who don't even open it. Or maybe the people who are showing it as open recently who gets phone calls. You are fully in control and are able to create those automations. On their end, you pick and choose what they see. So we want Michael to be excited about his day. We don't want to haggle back and forth about concrete blocks or whatever the case may be. We're able to quickly tell the story of what the event day is going to look like. So Michael is ready to sign and then pay. You can have any number of contract and payment policies. So when we talk about, um, you know, Dee Dee Pickles and um, Tommy and Dill's party, they'll have a different set of policies then Michael, who is a corporate client and has net 30 fees. When your customer signs, 
they will automatically get a copy of the signed invoice. A unsigned copy is automatically embedded in their copy of the quote that they receive. Same thing with all of their payment reminders and receipts. So we are partnered with Stripe for our um, automated payment processor. They have a 2.9% fee structure for credit cards. It is 1% for wire transfers, which you have the ability to pass on. And they will also receive, if they are doing something like, say, splitting it 50-50, or if they opt in to, say, using an Affirm payment, all of those notifications will automatically fire off. And every time they make a payment, they will automatically receive an invoice. In addition to that, for those folks um, who are maybe splitting their payments, 50% up front, 50%, maybe 30 days prior to, you are able to, um, they're also going to get automated payment reminders. So, hey, your card is going to be charged in so many days. Or, hey, please log in to pay your remaining balance based on what they've opted into. Now, once that payment has come through, if it has been paid through QuickBooks on, or through Good Shuffle Pro, we're actually saving that method of payment on file. So if anything happens to your items, you are able to quickly be made whole. And we are all about keeping you secure and having security in your back pocket. We do this in a number of ways. The first is our digitized fingerprint system. So when your client signs a quote, when they you know, send an email back, it's logged. And more importantly, a digital receipt of goods and services. So when your client, when your team gets to the site and they've wrapped up, that crew lead can now say, hey, we hold ourselves to a high standard. Can you let us know we've done as good of a job as we expect ourselves to do? And now when Michael signs on the phone and notates that it is good, if anything does come back worse for wear, our team is able to not only notate it accordingly, they can you can actually go in and charge them for those damaged items. Now, as we pivot over to the pull sheets, um, not only is it going to um, really allow you to be hands off in the back of house process. These pull sheets are going to be digitized for any of those folks you want to have the view over. Generally, we suggest any W-2 employees have their own login because it will allow them to mark items as being checked out or ready to go. All the while, they will have their own tier so they will see only what they need to see as it relates to fulfillment and what they will need to see as it relates to setup pictures and things of that sort. All the while, as they are going through and ma making those marks, making those checks, it is leaving that fingerprint behind. So now you, are able to see who has done what. And on those rare occasions where things get crossed up, you are able to quickly um, see who did what and make that square. I know we have gone over a lot so far. Are there any questions about what we have been over, whether it is the website wish list side of things. Do you have any questions as it relates to website SEO and getting more eyeballs to your website? Any question on the automations and the message templates or anything else?
Awesome. Well, we'll keep moving through as we bring things to a close. So when it comes to adding your team to that event, it is an absolute breeze for any um, users of a calendar system, think GCAL, Outlook, iCal. You're able to quickly see not only your upcoming events, but the availability of your staff. So if somebody, say, has some vacation coming up or anything like that, we can quickly see that nice cross-section of who is available, when are they available, and then adding them to the event is as easy as one click of a button, at which point they will receive an email letting them know they are tied to that event, and it will show on their daily dashboard. For our contractors, in 1099 folks, we'll have printable pull sheets as well as timesheets. A lot of folks will use a system like say QuickBooks um, time cards in addition to Good Shuffle Pro. One, because we already integrate with QuickBooks, that integration picks up the minute you receive a signature. So when we talk about other automations and time-saving features, if you're a QuickBooks user, this is a game changer. Not only is it going to sync the minute you receive a signature, it is going to pull through into QuickBooks as a fully itemized list based on item name, description, and the categories you have set it up. This allows you to be more granular with your data. And as we know they are prone to do in the events industry, if and when those post initial signature changes come in, unlike with many other solutions, Good Shuffle Pro pushes that update to QuickBooks so now there is not going to show any change or there's not going to be a, say, overage or shortage when it comes to payment indicative of a credit or a debit on the account. It will update automatically and real time so that that way, whatever that updated amount was, it's now not only pulling through to Good Shuffle, it's there in QuickBooks for you as well, automatically. To quickly recap, Good Shuffle Pro is an all-in-one platform that is built to help streamline every part of your business, starting with your website. Clients are able to go in, create wish lists, of what most catches their eye based on how you present your different offerings so that you can really maximize both what you bring in from a revenue standpoint and what they do from a fun standpoint. As they come to a close, they're going to provide you with the information necessary to get the ball rolling for an initial quote. And when they do, that will pull through to your projects tab, in addition to sending both parties an email, at which point we are able to quickly confirm if we are able to do that event or not, while having the full flexibility to add any additional pieces we need, like say an axe throwing attendant, like linens for our tables, like charger plates, whatever the case may be, all the while creating a smooth back-end customer experience for them to sign and pay as smoothly as possible and automating all of that heavy lifting for our back-of-house team. Now, what happens if you see all this? You're like, man, it seems too good to be true. It is not. So you can try all of this hands on. Good Shuffle Pro offers a two week free trial of the software. 
And from the minute you log in, you will have a dedicated account manager and onboarding specialist. So somebody who will walk you through um, starting with a new member orientation. My team and I will also be there for you. So if you have any questions, one of us from the sales side will reach out. We will also be happy to assist. And if you want to do a deeper dive, if there was something I did not go over today that you want to go um, over with someone further, know that um, we can hop on a sales call. Or if you want to just go right into your trainings, right into the meat and potatoes, know that that trial is there for you. You will have a ton of help along the way. And for those folks who may do stuff more at night, maybe more self-starters, we have an incredibly robust library. I like to refer to it as our Library of Alexandria. And it is replete with um, information of every type, videos, articles, everything that you need to get your account up and running. So even if this is, say, a part-time venture that you were working to make a full-time venture and evenings are what's best, you still have all of the resources you needed while being able to liaise with our awesome U.S.-based team full of event pros as your time permits. I want to thank you all for attending today. I know how busy this time of year is with weddings, and graduations, and just co concerts and every other type of event that's popping up. If any questions come up, please do not hesitate to reach out. We can be reached at sales at goodshuffle.com. That is S-A-L-E-S -E at goodshuffle.com. Once again, my name is Tyler. It has been an absolute pleasure speaking with you all today. I hope that everybody has taken at least a little bit of information away with them. And please do not hesitate to reach out with any questions or anything else. Thank you. And have a great day.